Hi, students and family members ready for another history project, this time related to the benefits of sea travel. There are four major parts to this project. The first part is right here. Let me just flip it over for you. You are going to determine if you are going to take a sea route to Asia or a foot route to Asia. Regardless of which you choose, you need to figure out survival items, technology, and trading items. You need three of each. On the rubric, you can see if you have three survival items, three points, three for trading items, and three for technology, a total of nine points. Directly beneath that, you need to draw a picture of yourself either on the sea route to Asia or the foot route to Asia with your items. That's the graphic source. That's where we're getting 10 points for the front part of this project. You need an accurate picture and one that illustrates you either on a sea route or foot route to Asia. Make sure it's colored and neat, and if it is, you get that full point. Above is where you place the information that you have in the three different bullet points for the three different topics. Once you've determined what you're bringing on your trip, draw your trip right here as a graphic source or a picture on showing that you're ready for your vacation to trade things. And then flip it to the back and get ready for the back end of this project or the final five points. You're going to need to come up with four supportive sentences as to why you either took a sea route or a foot route and why you took the path that you did. Those four type of sentences you've been learning in language arts this year and you need to include one of each, a declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory, and place those sentences on these lines. They should all support why you have taken the specific route or trip that you have so far. You get one point for each of these sentences. Finally, you need to draw the route that you took. You're going to make sure that it's colored and it's neat, and you should also have the explanation as to why you took the route on this map below. You're coming from Europe and around Portugal and going to Asia. Did you take a foot route or did you take a sea route? However you took it, you need the explanation up here and the colored neat graphic source down here for the 15th and final point of this project. Hope this video gives you enough explanation to be successful. Thanks.